Victoria is attempting to solve its GP shortage by offering eligible medical graduates grants of up to $40,000 to encourage them to go into general practice. The move comes as more people than ever turn to hospital emergency departments for basic medical help. They're the first port of call when our health takes a turn, but demand for GPs is outstripping supply. We've already seen the increased pressures on the hospital system, the waiting times in emergencies, the ramping from the ambulance services. These are all ongoing impacts of not having the right number of GPs across the state. The Victorian government is spending $32 million to try to lure more junior doctors to the profession, offering 800 grants of up to $40,000 to medical graduates. The first $30,000 is uh, designed to help uh, uh, manage the drop in income that general practice registrars experience in their first uh, one to two years of training. While there are more medical students than there has ever been, fewer and fewer are choosing to become general practitioners. A lot of us in the profession hear about the burnout that primary care doctors have faced, especially during COVID. A 2019 Deloitte report found that there is already a shortfall in doctors doctors working in metropolitan areas. That's expected to grow to a shortage of nearly 10,000 by 2030. That's a quarter of the current GP workforce. I think this is a golden opportunity for all states around the country to recognise that general practice is the basis of a functioning health system. I think GP is a fantastic fantastic career. I think you're the centre of community health. You accompany the patient throughout your entire patient journey. And there is so much variety. It's so much more than just the place that you get your flu shots. Rebecca Powell for 10 News First.